Hi, everybody. So Ray and I are here together today, and we're going to talk about some of the stuff that's going on with the universe, with how relationships are kind of unfolding right now, um, and how we're moving from being able to control everything to that doesn't work so well anymore. And now we're learning how to get into flow. So, yeah, yes. but it's been uh, a rough ride. <laughs> it's been a rough ride. <laughs> so we, we have, have you all heard of the phrase rejection is protection? That's kind of what we were talking about a little bit this morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it goes along with the control thing too, right? Just like mm -hmm. allowing that rejection, just instead of being like, no, why, why won't, why don't you like me? Or, or why don't you accept me? Let's work on it. Let's, let's come to a, let's come to a compromise. It's like, no, just let go. Let go. <laughs> yeah. It's a huge lesson that's going on right now. Cause I think, you know, as sparks of, like God source or oneness or whatever you want to call the big being where we came out of as sparks, we have this perspective and what do we want to do with it? Do we want to bump up against another perspective? Do we want to continue the duality or do we want to start to get into unity and kind of join with beings that have maybe a similar perspective what yeah. do we want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. The universe is always constantly bringing us things. And as a question, I was just talking about this in my live earlier as a question, like, Hey, is this what you wanted? Oh, Hey, I, I heard you thinking about this. Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Right. So it's like, just reminding ourselves that if the universe takes something away, it's because there's something inside of us that was like, pushing it away mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so it's not it's not it, if we fall into the victim it's like oh no the universe took this from me but if we're empowered we're like oh okay I must have designed this I must have pushed that away from myself because I knew it wasn't helping me anymore or or I gained the most that I could from that thing or person or you know mm -hmm. and we yeah. are not consciously aware of the agreement a lot of the time right yeah which is probably not going to go on like that forever. I don't see it that way. And if you take the time to check in with yourself every day, then you'll probably be more clued in. But I feel like right now it's almost impossible um, to know every single thing about what's coming and what's happening because we're in a very rapid state of growth right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we really are. Yeah, the frequencies are changing very quickly. I'm sure you all have felt it, you know. Um, I've started to see more with my physical eyes, which is very cool. Um, seeing more like, I don't know how to describe it. I keep seeing this like silvery, sparkly energy. <laughs> I keep seeing it on the edges of things. This like silver like shine. Um, it's not quite the aura. It's like, it's related to the auric field, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing, but yeah, it's like a silvery shiny thing. Yeah. And I keep seeing little glimpses of it. Pretty cool. Yeah. That feels like the new energy resonance that's starting to come in. So yeah. my husband actually saw two figures and he saw them twice, but only in the corner of his eye. And his biggest desire is to see ETs, right? So he's like, those are ETs. I know those are ETs. <laughs> you know, so I tuned into it. And I'm like, yeah, they were ETs. And he was so excited. Like the excitement coming from him was so big. And he didn't see them straight on. So he didn't have like real physical attributes, you know, of these beings. But he saw them in the corner of his eyes I'm and so excited incredible because he's not super like into that stuff right he's always been into ufos and ets um okay. and he's getting and that's what's happening like he's getting more and more activated every day 
And sometimes you don't have to say anything at all. And it's probably better if you don't say anything at all to somebody who's not activated yet. You just be around them and they just start to activate, Mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, he's really having fun with it, which I think is great. At least it's not painful. Like some of us started with the pain, you know, of the activation and the awareness. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that the nervous system is acting different. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause all the electrical currents and frequencies are different now. Um, like I'm sure, I don't know if any of y'all have noticed, but even the, the telepathy with our electronic devices yeah. is increasing. <laughs> it's becoming kind of freaky, <laughs> a little freaky. Uh-huh. It is. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking about something and then you look at your, like, I'll go into the Amazon account and I'll be like, I really think we need to get some more granola. Right. And you don't even speak it out loud. Right. And then that's the first thing on the list that pops up and you're like, okay, scary. Right. You're like, am I really that predictable or. (laughs) No, it's, yeah, it's telepathy. Yeah. I don't know. I've definitely been seeing, I've just been having a lot more clarity lately Mm -hmm. and I'm hoping Mm -hmm. that everyone is experiencing that um, because it's been like, not clarity about everything, but I'm talking about clarity when it comes to my third eye. Like I'll be inside and I'll be like, oh, Kara's outside. Uh, you know, cause I, there's plenty of places for her to escape through the fence. So whenever she's out there, I'm constantly like psychically watching her like, okay, where is she in the yard? And it's pretty accurate every time that I can guess exactly where she is. It's an acre. It's a whole acre, but I can guess exactly like which corner of the fence she's in or what tree she's under. Um, That has been really cool. That has been really, really cool. Like in the past couple of weeks, I've just noticed a huge Uh way more accuracy with the, with the seeing and the hearing. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that too, and especially with the animals, because I think they're elevating too. So yeah. that's been really cool because they they can't speak to you. So they will try and be in telepathy with you, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they're funny. They're really funny. For sure. <laughs> they are funny. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that last, um, healing video we did where I, I did that little merger for the nervous, for the frequency of like the new frequencies with our nervous system. Yeah. Um, I kind of, I'm going to encode another one of those in this video because it's still been, it's still been weird. I've just been noticing a lot of the like, I don't know if anyone else has noticed kind of why their maybe their energy levels have been, drastically different each day it's like some days it's like oh we're all merged with this new frequency and I I feel energized I feel good but a lot of the times it kind of feels like there's this lagging this pulling this like resistance like you want to feel energized and you feel energy in your body but it's like hard to know how to transmute it it's weird yeah I think we're really truly in the switch So we've had the crystalline blueprint for a long time, Mm -hmm. like at least a year we've had it in our bodies, but it's like, we haven't been ready to actually utilize it, to bring it in and to switch over. So this whole process of purging out all this stuff that's coming up to the surface, that's making the actual switch begin to happen i think and yeah it's basically letting go of the trauma yeah yeah have you noticed have you been getting picked up more by your team my my et team has been picking me up a lot at night um like a lot the last couple weeks i'm just constantly in the astral plane So Mm. I'm up there doing a lot of the same work that I'm doing down here lately. Um, I do see my group and everybody has a group of ETs at this point. Um, I see them. I 
use telepathy to talk to them. Um, but it really is mostly me out there in the universe. And I see myself working quite a bit. Like I'm really mm -hmm. working a lot. And sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, ooh, like my eyes don't even want to open. You know, it takes me a few minutes to kind of get going. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, dreams lately have been crazy. The dreams yeah. have been. Yeah, I also relate to that working on I'm working on a lot of stuff up there, yeah. working on a lot at night. I wake up in the middle of a project and I'm like, no, 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 go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Like I'm not done up there yet. I'm not done. Yeah. There's something I was doing. <laughs> exactly. um, but I was going to mention the whole ET thing. If anyone else is experiencing that feeling like, um, or maybe they don't know what they're experiencing, but many of us are being worked on a lot by our ET fam right now. They're assisting with these big shifts, with the big integrations, mm -hmm. with the frequency change. Um, so yeah, it, I wouldn't, like you just said, it's not surprising if we're waking up and feeling tired and um, no. not super rested. There's dots too that people have been getting on their skin. So, and... I was sent that as a question. So, and it was probably the second time I'd answered it. Um, but those dots have to do with basically kind of a med bed type thing that is happening for you at cool. night. And it's raising your frequency. It's helping your body kind of acclimate to this new universe. But a lot of people have had those little dots and they're all in a row. Or the other one that I've seen is like they're in a row and then it's an L. So the L doesn't, I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks like an L. I'm yeah. like, do I have any dots? I want to see dots. Yeah. So that's been really interesting. And they, people wake up with them. And of course, that's a little freaky, you know, but. I don't really feel very many negative or less evolved. I'm just going to say ETs in the area anymore. I think mm -hmm. they're more in the other parallels. I feel like this is probably one of the highest vibrational parallels that we're actually in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Even people that are, even people that I'm encountering who very clearly exhibit like narcissistic qualities tendencies even they um i'm noticing are more open-minded and yeah. just kind of like i don't know they're it's just weird because I, I have someone in my life that i have to interact with regularly who is quite narcissistic and um, there's no getting around it. I just have to interact with this person from time to time, you know? And um, it's been really cool. It's just been really fucking cool because yeah, this person is still kind of exhibiting some of the behaviors where I'm like having to set boundaries and stand up for myself, but they're also listening to a lot of these new concepts and ideas about, you know, energy and how it works. And, and even though you can tell that they're just like resisting the information, I can see it going in and I see the seed being planted and I see like the curiosity kind of yeah. awakening. Yeah. Everybody's upgrading right mm -hmm. now. So as long as you're, um, even a human consciousness or what people would call a, and like a non-player character, mm -hmm. they're still slightly upgrading themselves because they still have consciousness too, even though there's not, the soul is probably outside of the body if it's mm -hmm. present, but you know, the body has its own consciousness too. And that is evolving as well. All yep. of it, everything is evolving right now. Yep, totally. The good news is one thing we do want to bring up for everyone. There is good news. Yes. <laughs> there is a little bit of a relief coming. Um, we're already starting to feel the relief today, actually today mm -hmm. in the next couple of days, because we're shifting into 
a more favorable alignment with the stars and the planets to where we're all going to feel a little bit more like excited about these challenges and being able to have the energy to rise to the occasion rather than feeling overwhelmed by the challenges. Um, so on the 10th, July 10th, that that's when that official shift in the planetary align alignments is happening. Um, and it's going to get a little bit more like, okay, I got this. I can do this. Like I can work through this. I've got this. Like I've, I've done this before kind of feeling. So, yeah. And I think it's good to track that in too. you know, allow that break to come in. Mm -hmm. Um, because a lot of this stuff is going to come up in waves. So it won't be like, oh, I cleared it all. It's all done. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be in waves. And I was using a funny analogy today. You know, when you clean a bowl, you're at the sink, you've got a big bowl and you've got your sprayer. You don't just sit it in one spot and expect that to fix the whole sticky bowl. You go around in a circle and you get all of it out that way. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're going in waves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To clear everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now you just imagine the water is circling the bowl and on the 10th, the water's going to turn off for a little while. No. <laughs> and then it's going to turn back on. Um, you know, it's perfect timing too, because so as most of us are, we're like ready to step in to this new, this new version of us, right? We're yeah. ready to like step into these new habits and I didn't tell you I was going to talk about this, but um, we have this event specifically that we planned to help people break those old habits, break the old cycles, identify whatever those limiting beliefs are. Because that's a lot of the problem is that we don't know what the beliefs, we don't even realize what it is that we're telling ourselves right. is holding us back. Yeah. So we have an event called The Wild Woman Within. Um, and it's gonna, we're starting it at the tail end of these good, these good energies. We're starting it on the, um, seven, 21st. Oh, good. Yeah. The 21st. So right at the end of this kind of good vibe, but the whole, the, the reason why this is perfect for this time of year is because we're helping you create new habits, because it's, it's a three week long event. So by the end of the three weeks, you're going to have like new habits put in place. And then we're going to have follow up for three to four weeks after that to help you maintain those new habits. Because right now is the time, man. It is the time. If you're ready to shift, if you're ready to change, if you've been feeling it coming, but you want support, that's what this event is for. So yeah, I'm excited. Put that below. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's important for right now. It is really important to encourage the purge instead of trying and hanging on to that stuff because it'll just get bigger if we hang on to it but also be gentle with yourself as you purge like if you're tired then rest if you're mm -hmm. if you want to cry then cry whatever it is that's coming up for you just go ahead and allow yourself to do it because that'll move you from i have to be in control of everything and hang on to it to i'm gonna flow with this and I'm going to let my new amazing life kind of unfold out in front of me. And mm. I'm going to just follow it and right. let it, let it materialize. Yeah. 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 I think so many of us have been searching, like we're looking in all these different places for like, how do I heal? How do I fix this? How do I understand this? And it's kind of that, it feels like a little frantic. It feels a little bit frantic. And yeah. our goal is to just help everyone um, give you the tools so that you don't have to be scrambling outside of yourself so that you can be like, okay, I'm home alone today and I'm feeling um, out of sorts. I don't need to go call a friend, you know, necessarily. There are times where that's, where that's a good thing, but it's like, we don't want that to be the go-to where we're codependent. You know, we want to be self-sufficient and know how to shift our own energy. So yeah, go with them. Yeah. Yeah, we all have the power to yeah, do that. Yeah, we do. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. That will be very good. I'm excited for that. It'll be good. Yes. Very good. Because really, basically, I want to touch on this one thing is it's really important to love you. 
And that's the basis of everything. Like even the crappy stuff that you may have done in your life or in a past life, you know, we've all had to learn through like trying things out, dabbling in things that maybe we're not, if we knew about it, we wouldn't be proud of it, right? But none of us are these squeaky clean, perfect beings that had, you know, thousands of lifetimes and you, you have hurt somebody in what, in those lifetimes, like you've hurt people, you've gone through, you know, traumas, you've gotten hurt. That, that's what we're transmuting right now is all of that lifetimes of gunk, basically, because mm -hmm. we're moving from a learning universe to a being universe. So you want to be or in love with you. And the, the way that our bodies are trying to release that is through irritation, agitation, mm -hmm. frustration, anger, those lower vibrational emotions there, those are the things that are connecting us to those traumatic memories and those traumatic experiences. So if we want to release it, then we have to authentically allow ourselves to feel lower frequencies, lower vibrational emotions, which sounds so counterintuitive. Like, well, if I want to feel happy, I should focus on happiness. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> if you yeah. want to be happy, you got to focus on releasing the feelings that are causing you to be unhappy, which right. means expressing them. Yeah. Yeah. Expressing them, sitting with them, mm -hmm. um, asking, okay, why do I feel this way? Mm -hmm. You know, going through that process of investigation and also you can, if it's really painful, you can zoom out and you can watch yourself and you can say, okay, I see myself. What does my higher self have to say or my soul have to say about where I'm at? Is there something that I'm not seeing? And if you can't see it or get the message, ask it to be shown to you. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. 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 Just yeah, like I asked for right. a vitamin to come in, you know, if I need it. <laughs> like, yeah. show me the, what I need. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Is this just like bringing me back to like, a thing I do all the time that I, especially when I was, okay. So I used to journal a lot when I was younger, but it's so important to like, it's important to be able to express how we really feel when we know for sure that no one else is going to hear it or see it, because then we can really be the most honest. Right. So like a lot of the times, if I want to understand something about myself, but I, I am way overwhelmed by the emotion and I don't know where it's coming from. I'll either write about it or I'll voice record it on my phone. And then I'll go listen to it later and be like, okay, where was this anger coming from? And I'll analyze it as if it's not me, as if it's somebody else, you know? Right. And then you can objectify, you don't have to be in it. And then you can look at it objectively. Yeah, that's a great tool to do. Yeah. Yeah, super helpful. Yeah, it's really important to realize that you don't have to stay stuck in it, but you need to actually take the time to feel it, even if it's only for like a couple minutes. You need to take that time so that you can find the source of it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't allow yourself to feel all the way to the depth of how bad it really feels, then you're just pulling out the top of the plant and you're not getting that root, you know? So if yeah. you really are that upset, let yourself be upset. You know, it's okay. Like, it's okay. It's okay to yeah. be upset. It's okay to feel bad for ourselves for a little bit so that we can work through whatever it's causing that. Yeah. Find <laughs> out what it is. It's, um, and that's what we need to do on our own, really. I don't, I think we're past the point of having to take it out on other people. I feel like that is really like just perpetuating the problem. But if we can sit with ourselves and deal with ourselves, then we're basically being a sovereign being mm -hmm. in that moment. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. We've, we're all figuring it out together. You know, <laughs> we are, we really are. Yeah. Well, this kind of feels like, uh, that's a wrap like that. That is a really good way. I think to wrap it up. It's like, it's all about us and how we can do it for ourselves. We can do this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. We can do it. Mm -hmm. Yep.
And, and honestly, loving myself, me being in love with myself feels better than anybody else being in love with me. Like a hundred percent. Like no matter the most amazing, beautiful, handsome, talented, successful person could be in love with me. But if I'm not in love with me, it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel any better. You know? No, because you're depending on things to come from the outside when actually we're the creator of our own life. So it's got to come from the inside. Yep. And yep. we've been taught to be afraid to go on the inside and it's time. Well, we've been taught that it's wrong and it's prideful to love yourself like that, that it's yeah. like selfish and, and it's not like, I remember falling in love with myself and actually choosing to do that and how awkward it was and how weird I felt. And even looking myself in the eyes in the mirror and being like, you're beautiful. I felt like a dork. I was like, what? This is stupid. What am I doing? You know, but then once you get into it and you start to feel actual love for yourself, you're like, oh, oh my God, I'm a badass. I'm fucking cool. Like what? How come I never saw myself through this lens before, you know? So that's what it's all about. It is. Falling in yeah. love. Fall in love with you. Yeah. And that brings better experiences outside of you as well. It really mm-hmm. is true. It's your inside that generates everything. Yep. This was so good, that. Ray. Thank you so it much. Was. This was yeah. Great. yeah. Great conversation. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Yeah.